Good afternoon, Capitaliers. Hope you're doing okay, guys. Welcome to the channel, or welcome back to the channel. I'm Galaxia, and I have been doing a lot of e-videos in the past about the wars and updates and stuff like that in the game. What we're going to be looking at today is what's in Orvikin. Now, we're going to look in today. What you're going to take away from this is if it's worth doing or not. As in, if you want to role play it and do it for this for the story, fine. If you're looking at trying to make cash out of this, we'll look at that as well. So first of all, we're going to look it straight into to see what this exact uh, this is all about. Uh, the story about it is something to do with the rogue drones, um, combat anomalies. You get those old parts when you get dr uh, drones, like sentient uh, from sentient drones. I think it is. You get the drone capillary units and all that, all the fluids and stuff like. That. Those weren't really used apart from in the old uh, in some of the drone BPCs. Like the faction drone BCs, integrated, um, augmented drone BPCs, if I'm correct, I think so. Anyway, we're going to have a look at this, though. The, the one here, the probably the bit that you're interested in, why you've come here, is collect, contribute, collect, and cash in. So we're going to look straight into this. Is uh, No one knows exactly what this, this structure here is, or what it's doing, but it, they are collecting one of each of these you could you do one of these and you get you know loyalty tokens which can be exchanged for ace like reward tokens for many other group and have a chance to contain blueprint copies of brand new faction module blueprints which is pretty nice so we're going to have a look into this because i want to know exactly what sort of stuff you can get and it costs i've i've actually now if we seamlessly transfer to here i am i have got a character in overkin and i have Enough for four of each of these tokens, these crates that you're going to get. So we're going to open four and see what you get. I bought all of this for a total of 110 or 112 million isk off the GTA market. People are selling it locally for naturally a because uh, each one of these is I think I paid 25,000 isk for. So if you want to load up, get, load up in GTA, not locally. But first of all, we're going to dive in and to see exactly if this is worth. What you get is worth it. So if you're looking at investing some of this, we're going to see if it's worth it. But if you've got loads of this lying around from God knows how many years of NPC ratting, you know, running the uh, ANOMs in NPC, not NPC, in drone space, or you've seen the the, uh, the sites that you get around here in, in high sec, the drone ones, you, get, you can occasionally get these from there. So we're going to go and exchange these now just to see exactly how much, or to see if they're worth it, or how much the rewards are worth, for example. Because a lot of a lot of people in EVE don't play the game for the lore, the story, all that sort of stuff. They play a game to get rich, and everyone wants to know the next next big thing to, to make money from. So first of all, once we've, uh, once we've exchanged these, we'll go back to station and we'll see what we do with them. I don't know if you open them in space or you open them in station, so on and so forth. So let's just so when you come here, it is a uh, it is a, a cool little. I mean, it's a, that looks like that's an Asbel. So as it says there, that is an Asbel. But this is the structure in question here. So this, to me, I think this is something to do with Valkyrie. Personally, it looks like. It's going to be something to do with Valkyrie because, funnily enough, it is aimed at a planet. So I think this is going to have something to do with deploying clones or something quickly onto a belt. Because it almost looks like a cannon or like a gate or some form of hub. I don't know. It might be some form of hub. You know, like you teleport from here onto a planet and you know you run all that sort of stuff so we're gonna go we're, it do, i do like this i've started doing a lot of this sort of stuff lately now sorry for the camera i'm not quite used to this i need to get a new tracking mouse thing uh anyway so without further ado so let's do oh can we do oh what six oh, oh no i did three not four i'll tell why three up well prototypes okay Okay, so I've done it once. 
close it. I think I must, yeah, I must have bought a couple, a few extras by accident. That's fine. So let's go back to station now. Any station will do. Because I want to see what we can get from these. So they look like three upwell prototype crates. Uh, but reward captures who assist them in developing the consortium of their prototype structure and overcome system. Okay, that's fine. So let's go and see if this is actually worth it. Beautiful, right? We're back in the back in the station. So what would we do? Open one of them. So open container. Let's have a look. Uh, you get one item, and we got upwell consortium. So that's so that's twenty eight million. Twenty four million. Wow. So seventy one million. There's. I mean, you can buy the loyalty tokens. You can buy people selling them. There's buy orders for a hundred thousand in system, but you can also buy them. Unless that's people selling them for a hundred. Yeah, it is. People are buying them and selling them, which, you know, 700, 70 million. So if you're looking at making a profit and turning a quick um, bit of risk on this, do not buy them from Jita or anywhere and trade them in because you may get lucky and get a faction BPC. I did three and I didn't. I might try some more just to see because, you know, RNG is not my best friend. But we'll try this. But so far, it doesn't really seem that, uh, that worth it to do. For ISK in most of, well, yeah, so, uh, yeah, that is not worth doing, if, uh, if, we, if we're honest. That was 110 million ISK, uh, well, minus that, actually. So, 100, eh. So, it's 110 million ISK. Take away, because that's an inflated price as well. Because what did I pay for that? That's 30 million here. What did I pay for that? 18 million so 100 and i mean you may possibly get your return of investment back but that is it you will not get your uh, unless you get lucky and get a faction bpc you will not get your uh, initial investment back so if so the moral of the story is if you're looking at making a bit of cash do not buy them off the gita market and do not trade them in that way thank you for watching guys hope you found this information if you're new to the channel please um go back and have a look at some of the other e-videos I've done. I've got some more coming out as well over different things, and we've got some PvP stuff coming as well. So I hope to see you again soon, guys. Take care, and thank you for watching.